Okay, I'm here with Yvonne from Team Massachusetts, and she's going to tell us a little bit about their project called the 4D Home. Where's that name come from? Um, well, the 4D Home is about a home that works in the fourth dimension, which is over time. Okay. Um, our target market is a family of three, um, preferably with a young child. So um, the idea is that this house can transform with the family over time and adapt to a family's changing needs. So it's got sort of a modular approach. How are you, how are you doing that inside the house? Can um, you talk to us about that? Well, within the house, um, in our floor plan, we have two large storage walls uh -huh. that break the house into currently a two-bedroom. Um, okay. But these walls can move depending on if the family would rather have a studio apartment and have the entire place open. It, they can move into the center where this desk is. These, that's this large yes, section these, right there? Yes, these two large pieces right here are storage walls that are okay. um, really just moving partition. And how, how large is the house? The house is right under 1,000 square feet, so we maxed out the square footage for the competition. But I see you, you, you got in the new rule of being able to include some outdoor spaces. Yes. And, so you have some nice decking here. Now you, now, you didn't put the PV array on the actual roof. Is that... Is that what's the strategy there? Um, well, the strategy there was to leave some space in between the roof and the PV array to allow for ventilation to okay. keep them cool, and then also to the PV array doubles as a shade structure okay. to give the house some overhang um, for the high summer sun, and it um, becomes an entry sequence for the house. And now, on the back side of the house, there's it, there looks to be this sun tunnel kind of a, a thing your skylight what, what is that all about um well the skylight is to bring light into the deep hallway in that middle um just to keep natural light throughout the house okay and so are you guys hoping that you're going to be able to stick within the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar budget or we hope so it's looking like we are yep we're doing pretty good um using just really simple materials in a really um craftful way okay and and what are you planning to do with the house after the competition we hope to keep it in Massachusetts and to find a family that can live in it. Okay. Great. Well, good luck with the project. Thank you.